All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and we're here once again for week 16 with Dave Jayhawk, where we're going to talk about uh, the past week and then leading into this down the stretch of survivor pools. I want to thank everybody for being part of this incredible ride as most of these pools start to wind down, and we'll talk about a little of that. Just to kind of, again, let us know where we all came from. We started at week one, where we, you know, just, just, just started teaching people how to play. We both had a whole bunch of pools going. Uh, I took down a pool very quick, very quickly, maybe week seven or eight, chopped a, a decent nitrogen pool. And then aside from that, I've been kind of out of the other pools for several weeks, and we've been spending most of the time tracking a combination of, uh, of, of Brave Jayhawks last pool, which pays a good amount of money, and also these other pools kind of around the industry. So let me just kind of give a summary of overall what happened in the industry last week. And then, and then, uh, and then uh, Mike can give his own uh, summary of his stuff. And then we can talk about this week. So the, the, the big, well, a couple of things to start off the week, Minnesota threatened to knock some people out, but 30 to nothing's not good enough or 33 to nothing's not good enough. So they came back to win. But um, my Giants, my Giants just 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 crushed souls on, on Monday night or Sunday night and, and wiped out the entire civilized world. And not the entire civilized world, obviously, but most of the civilized world. Uh, to it, I will show you a couple of good examples. Um, this is one pool I've been tracking. This started with like, I think, 6,000 people. This was at double picks. And this, not, this was decided last week. Um, Single entry won like four hundred thousand dollars by himself uh, after Washington lost. Good, you know, last week, so good for him. The other pool which we had been sweating, the um, the uh, the other pool with the Madisau one, uh, Madisau and Splitsum both went with Washington, and Houday uh, did not play Washington. He was the only one with Green Bay available, and so he was forced into a perfect situation. You know what I mean? He had Green Bay, yep. had, to, had to deal with two Washingtons, two Washingtons lost. Uh, I, I I don't know if he ended up hedging uh, the Green Bay once he knew that Washington had lost, but whatever it is. Um, so those are the two main pools I follow, except for Circa, which uh, I don't want to get into quite yet, but we maybe after Christmas we will. And and so, the, you know, listen, so the Giants just did a number on everybody. So, um Brave Jayhawk, I'm going to pull up his, uh, we're going to go through two things. One is his grid. Uh, another is we're going to pull up survivor pool grid just to see who the big favorites are. And let's see, we're going to, we're a week, what, set 16. So let's see if we can do this. So, 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 so Mike, tell everybody what this pool is, where you started and where we're at. Uh, so we started with 1100 um, standard single pick entry pool uh, with one wrinkle, the wrinkle being, if there are more than one, if there's more than one entry remaining at the end of week 18, then the, it goes into playoffs. If you did not take a team during the regular season, you can use them twice in the playoffs. Otherwise, you can take them once. And that is starting to come into, into play with some of the picks that we've seen in my pool in the last uh, couple of weeks. And how, and many entries, also something, how, many, how many entries did you start with? Uh, uh, started with 10. And you have uh, we were down to right. Yeah, you know, we we had seven going into this week. Okay. All right, and uh, we lost one of them. Okay, and and uh, you are, and so you, I presume, took Green Bay and Washington. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. You're not happy with that? Uh, well, um, it was just a rough week. Um, it was. Uh, I went to the KU basketball game with my wife. I got free tickets from a, a poker friend and. You know, just get out of the game, and it's thirty-three to nothing. And oh, the Minnesota you know, game. Minnesota game, and you know, it, it, you know, you lose a game like that, you just don't think it. You know, you just don't. You think everything's possible after that. Um, <laughs> I, I, I really spent. Contrary to what we talked about last week, I, you were on. Don't take Minnesota. Get the right. full information. Right. I was on that to an extent, and I definitely did not disagree with, uh, you know, your position. Jesse had the same exact position as you had. The only reason my position changed is in these types of pools, especially when you get late, the average person tends to lean toward the, you know, the quote obvious pick and, you know, with Minnesota creeps back a half a point and Washington creeps up 
like a full point, there's a little bit of a gap there. And I was very confident no one would take Minnesota. Now, I was wrong. Someone did take Minnesota. Um, so I was very relieved when um, I saw that someone took them. Uh, then I was very happy at halftime. And I don't even, I mean, my emotions, I, I can't describe them. <laughs> it was more utter shock. I did not watch the game, uh, luckily. Um, at least at I, least you didn't have to sweat the Green Bay game too much. No words. Well, I mean, it was really, it actually got worse than that. I mean, it, it was oh. a brutal week. Okay. Then we had, uh, someone took Buffalo. And, now I knew Buffalo would probably end up winning. But, you know, you get that little taste, yes. you know, that yes. little, that sliver of hope. And it's tough when, when you, that Buffalo pick was so good because it, it, it meant that the person couldn't take them the next week. Yeah. And this is especially advantageous now that, you know, Tennessee has fallen with their quarterback change. Um, so that was, a, that was a win in itself, uh, them taking Buffalo, you know, it would have been obviously a very big bonus if they had lost. Um, and then we got very unlucky on Sunday morning. I, 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 I'm just shocked how, how, the way the picks broke down. Someone <laughs> could have taken Philadelphia, and they took uh, Green Bay instead. And I was very surprised by that. I, I thought Philadelphia, yes, will be a really good pick for later um, playoffs, potentially week 17. But I, I just did not think that person would risk being on a group of four or even make it a group of three by taking Green Bay and saving Philly. And the last one was annoying, but it worked out. Someone else took Washington, and, and that, that, that really irked me because that should not have happened. Um, this person no longer exists in the pool, um, so we, we don't need to disclose their screen name. I see I include screen names this week. I'm Bert Harbinson. Uh, we'll see if anyone figures out who that is without cheating on Google. Um, um, but uh, that was pretty unlucky. We were supposed to be the only ones on Washington. Now, you can never get exactly what you want, but it seemed pretty obvious that we were going to be the only Washington pick. Going into Sunday, two people were through, and of the other five, surely we were going to take at least one Green Bay. And outside of Green Bay, we only had Washington to choose from, from the, you know, the obvious picks left. We didn't have New Orleans or Cincinnati. This person had both of those, and they took Washington, probably because they were, like, I don't know, 0.5% bigger favorite, and right. he was punished for that. But a very bad pick on his part. Um, you know, there's – that. that's uh, – if, if you're looking – if you're trying to make the right pick, that was just the wrong pick. The money lines were almost essentially the same. Um, you're definitely taking an EV hit – by getting on a group of two with you know seven people left actually really five because two two are automatically through uh definitely a mistake on his part um i watched i did watch the fourth quarter um just disgusting absolutely <laughs> disgusting um, so, so so what so what do we got here so 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 you have so we have. We, I keep thinking there are three weeks left. They're not three weeks left. They're 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 not two three weeks left. There are more weeks left because we we set this into the playoffs, um, assuming that people make it into the playoffs. Um, so I'm looking at at at, at week sixteen here. Um, let's let's just talk about you for a minute. I mean, you have anybody yeah. else available to you except for Tennessee or or no? So th this is a very easy week. For a lot of people, I feel, and of course, I'll end up being surprised. But with, with Tennessee's fall, with uh, Tannehill going down, um, there's not a lot of choices really for anybody, and and that's and that's very fortunate for us. This is a very big advantage for us with Tannehill going down because it's really going to force these people to take Tampa Bay and San Francisco. And this is a very, very good thing for team Burt Harbinson because those are teams that are going to be very, those are, those are top picks next week in week 17. And we don't have them. So we want them to be used up. So we, we definitely are very lucky that this situation arose. 
Um, if they want to drop and save those teams, that's fantastic too, because right. we're taking Minnesota and they can't take Minnesota. So it's okay. not going to make a difference. They're either going to drop this week and we have, a, win. we have a, I'm sorry. You're taking Minnesota win this week. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, only one other people, only one other person could take them. But if you go back to the grid, the second and the third entry. Yep. The oh, other, sorry. Um, I had, I had I'm sorry, the other grid. Sorry about that. You're mind. good. The second and the third entry. I mean, everybody has Tennessee. Um, my friend is actually in a pool with three people left for six figures. Or they, I think they're playing for 75000 And somehow he was the only one with Tennessee left. I don't know how that's possible. So that was very unlucky for him because um, he had a nice he had a nice spot and he lost it. Um, that's an anomaly. In reality, almost everybody has Tennessee in a standard pool, and these guys their their choices are pretty simple. They're going to have to drop to the Chargers at four and a half, or they're going to be taking San Francisco and or Tampa Bay. Um, I really hope they go Tampa Bay, San Francisco, because we do not have the Chargers on this entry. You don't, so, have, you don't have Tampa either, right? We don't have Tampa either. So ne next week we're taking Detroit as long as these people have the Chargers left. So what we don't want, we don't want people to take the Chargers this week because we want them to take them next week. Because well, you don't want people on your Detroit with you. Correct. And, 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 and Detroit is the lesser – value pick on its own by point spread but if these chart there's three three of the five have the chargers left and if they all save the chargers for next week and i'll take them they're an eight point favorite against the rams um and that's that's fantastic for them but you know i'm just going to take detroit at a six and a half point favorite um who's also you know going to be playing for a pl you know playoff spot um, you know, th things could, th th there is a scenario where the, all the people, the Chargers get knocked out, obviously, and then we'll end up taking like Jacksonville because everybody else will take Detroit or something. But at this stage of, of the tournament, this, this is where you have to think analytically. Um, you cannot pick your team. You cannot pick who you, who you think is going to win. It's not about picking winners. This is about you know, you know, more or less pure math and giving yourself the absolute most equity. Right. Um, so we are not locked into any team. If something changes in the next two days and yep. I mean, gosh, it could, um, you know, you know, we're, we're, we're willing to adjust and take another team because well, we want to get is also, but don't, don't again, something to look ahead to is that is from a football perspective that Minnesota is pretty well locked in right now um th th this this game they, they they'd like to win right but 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 yeah once that happens if in fact that happens like they're not gonna i don't think they're gonna be playable at all in 18 um so like a guy like the tribe who's like counting on minnesota to be available to him at 18 i mean I, you know, we, we've seen a lot of football in our lives. Right? Well, he, he's he's going to take Minnesota, too. I, I'd be very surprised. If oh, okay. He didn't. Um, I, I'd be pretty shocked. Um, okay. it'd, be, it'd be – actually, I, I want him to take Minnesota because if he doesn't take Minnesota, he's going to take the Chargers, which means he, next week he's going to match my Detroit pick. So, I right. actually want right. him to take – I want him to take Minnesota. And as long as it's only two people in Minnesota, which we're capped at, it doesn't really make a difference to me. No. This is never going to end this week anyway. Um, you know, outside of us dropping to like Pittsburgh, which we're not going to do. Um, it's just, it, it's just a little beneath, you know, where we want to go. Um, but you're exactly right that this is probably the last chance to take Minnesota unless they win, you know, both weeks and then they're playing for positioning for the two or three, but you know, I'm not. I, I haven't even looked at that. To us, it really doesn't make a difference. Yeah. Minnesota would be a nice team to be able to pick twice in the playoffs. Be, you know, but oh, that's right. I keep forgetting about. That. <laughs> right. But it really doesn't. The it would be nice if there's more people left. Um, if there right. were like thirty people left, we're, there's no way we're taking Minnesota because what we would do is 
we're not going to use them at all. We're going to go to the playoffs. We're going to pick them in, in week one. It doesn't matter who they play. Well, I mean, they're going to play at home versus Somebody. Detroit or Seattle or the Giants or the football team. And we're going to pick them, and then we're going to hope they go to the Super Bowl. Um, that's because then it, either people get eliminated or they get boxed out. But with five people left, we're not going to play for that angle because, the, you know, the odds just are not there, right. you know, to do right. that. Um, we're just going to take our best available pick. We're going to hope it works out. Um, it'd be very unfortunate if these people took these the second and third entry or last one took the Chargers. But you know, now that uh, Jacksonville has has risen, um, as long as they you know don't give Houston their second win of the year uh, next week, we'll just take Jacksonville. So we have two right. choices that you know fell into our lap, and you know, it, it, and I think I I've mentioned a few weeks ago that Detroit was a play for us this week. You know, yeah. we you know as an option, but it, you know it's a play for everybody, but. Um, you know, the hope was you take Detroit because other people are going to take other teams so that you're so on a what, So what are we thinking? We're thinking that Brad plays Tampa and then holds LAC. We're thinking that Jay Kim. So if, if I, if I am Brad, I'm going Tampa and then I'm going Philly. Um, oh, he's most got Philly likely. Left. Okay. Yeah. He, but, he, but he probably won't because he didn't take Philly last week. Now, I, it was very odd. We last week um, the tribe didn't want to make a deal. No problem, you know. Whatever his entry is pretty much the same as ours. Um, this week, you know, we I wanted to spite not make a deal because we lost an entry, and I didn't want right. him to like, oh, right. I'll make a deal now. But right, um, I decided whatever. I I'm, I just can't take this anymore. Um, I, I don't want to win nothing, so right. I, I asked if they wanted to make a deal, and and then the Brad Leon guy proposed an offer I accepted someone else might have accepted and then he and then he reneged I, I guess he didn't realize how good his spot was but that was kind of annoying um I mean he, he far he has far and away the best entry left it's 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 not even close Who? um the second one Brad Leon yeah just far and away the best entry he has I mean he has multiple options for next week um it, 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 this would have been a lot more interesting of a discussion if Tannehill was playing. We right. would have taken Tennessee. We would have taken Minnesota anyway. Right. Um, but we might have been pretty fortunate where, you know, we, there might have been, you know, three Tennessees and yeah. then like one San Francisco and then us in Minnesota. But uh, that's fine. I mean, one person doesn't have – one person has to take worse than us. Um, we're on Minnesota at four and a half. Uh, the tribe well, the tribe's going to take Minnesota or the Chargers or worse. And the fourth entry, they're, uh, I mean, they're going to have to take Tennessee or Pittsburgh. There might be a couple other options that are a little, little, little worse than that. Um, so that, that, that's what the situation is, um, you know, go, going into this week. P pretty clear cut for us. Um, I'm just glad uh, Pittsburgh wasn't the pick because I really didn't want to watch uh, – didn't really want to spoil New Year's Eve watching a football game. Um, uh, so all, all, lucky all, for us, we could. All I will say is this: I know you know this doesn't matter. It's not whatever. I, I really listen. I really hope that that my Giants don't knock your last two entries out in back to back weeks. That would be very. That would be very unfortunate. Um, it would be unfortunate. I I I'm at I'm in that stage of like. Uh, everything's very blurry right now. Last <laughs> last week was. Uh, I, I honest to God wasn't even mad after the Washington game because the whole weekend was was right. so ridiculous. It, right. the, just waking up and seeing that the picks were three Green Bay, two Washington with two through, that was the worst possible scenario. Yeah. Um, and and there's no way we could have gone to Green Bay, w knowing that the other person probably sh should have took should have taken New Orleans or Cincinnati. Now I did have one friend before we get on to the uh, the next thing you wanted to talk about. Um, usually I don't, I, I actually don't mind telling people what I think they should do, even if it's for a lot of money. Cause I, and I'm, I'm thinking objectively and, and I'm, he made a deal in that one pool I was talking about earlier. Um, they did a save and they're playing for a bunch more. And then I'd ask him, well, who are you going to take? And he says, well, I'm taking Minnesota. I'm like, well, why? He's like, well, who should I take? I said, you should take Cincinnati. Nobody else has them. 
And he's like, yeah, but one other person, only one other person is Minnesota. I'm like, okay, so don't take Minnesota. And uh, he ended up taking Minnesota. And he works the graveyard. And he went to sleep at halftime, went to bed, and then woke up and got to see that Minnesota won. So uh, that, that must have been a, 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 a great thrill to him. And then, uh, and then even better, uh, the next day he wakes up and sees that, you know, four people took Washington and someone else took Carolina. So he's, he's down to uh, three people now. So good for him. I really didn't have much else to talk about. I figured I would maybe put up the circuit thing and see if I can. Oh, actually, I, oh, I, we got to, I, I have a comp. I, I have a note here about circa. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know, I took Washington, so I don't want, you know, anyone to think, Oh, well, how can you say that when you took Washington yourself? Well, each, the answer is simple. Each, each pool is individual looking at my picks, especially with the benefit of two people taking picks on Saturday. I mean, no one was supposed to take Washington. And if someone was going to do it, it was only going to be one other one, not, a, you know, not an outright disaster. Washington was an absolutely horrible pick for Circa. There was absolutely no reason to take them. Um, you know, really almost at all. Uh, I didn't look to see you know, what other people had. But if you had, uh, unless you had Cincinnati and were still eligible for the million dollar bonus. And for those that don't know that, if you, for Circa, if you make it through the entire season and you did not use Cincinnati or the Rams, you win a million dollars or chop it if there's more than, more than one person. Um, the, the Washington people, you should have dropped to Cincinnati. They should have dropped to New Orleans. They should have dropped to Carolina. They all, they, you know, they would have been out anyway. Um, but it, it was very clear that Washington was going to be a very heavily picked team, and they and they ended up being a fifty percent picked team. Um, that was a that, that was a pretty big mistake uh, to take Washington in, in that pool. It's it, especially so, as, as as the as the spread increased. So let's again. I'm a little bit oh, it'll prepare, but I'm going to try this anyway. So. This is the grid for availability for a yeah. for this week after the Armageddon from last week. And just to remind everybody, you have Christmas. You have you have to make one pick out of what four games, right? Um, four games, yeah. Four games, and then one pick on on uh, I guess it would be Saturday, right? Um, yep. Uh, right. So this so Thursday through Saturday, this is team availability. Oh, that's interesting. So that they have to pick this one first. Yeah, I mean, so interesting. I mean, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the best pick is. I don't even need to look. I I really don't need to dive too deep into it. I love taking Tampa Bay before Christmas. Um, now the problem is the spread's gotten a little big. Uh, what next do you mean, what week. do you mean before Christmas? It is Christmas. No, week sixteen is before Christmas. Isn't Christmas this weekend? Yeah, but the the week sixteen slate is first. Right, but Tampa Bay Tampa plays part on of, Christmas. I thought Tampa was on Christmas. No, okay, they're not. You're right. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I think no, you're I'm wrong. Sorry. I think, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I double. I, I, I'm sorry. Just, I wish we can delete the last two minutes. We, that was okay. Waste. <laughs> um, I. Uh, okay. No, let, let, no. Me, let, let me let me redo what, that. What I, what I was going to say is is, yeah. is 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 this. So, on Christmas, the game. The games are well. I won't go Christmas and work backwards. I presume that if you have Tampa available as one of the four Christmas games, you're supposed to take them. I think. Yeah, there's only fourteen people. One, yeah. two, three, four, five people have Tampa available. Who's I know what my thought was. Who's the next biggest favorite after Tampa this weekend? Who who is uh, Zona for Christmas? Zona against the. Uh, oh, that's Tampa. So is it any, uh, any it, it's it's Miami. Everyone was saving. Remember a lot of people so say Miami, Miami from week twelve. Three, four. So five people have Miami available too. I just wonder if anybody's got them both available. Probably not, right? I would imagine not. Uh I would imagine the people either saved them or didn't. Uh, no one's got Miami and Tampa available. I imagine. No, look at this. This is kind of crazy. So Jed has both Miami and Tampa available. As does Howard Hamlin. So those guys can hold Tampa for like 18 or something, right? Um, 
Oh, see that? Okay, that that okay. Now, now I remember my thought. My thought was 17. saving them for seventeen. Right. That's, that, what well, that's the not, idea. not okay. That was my thought. My thought was because I wrote this down and then I misread it. The thought was not taking them on Christmas well, and saving them for seventeen as a unique pick. Well, well, here's um, the deal, though. We got to identify these two different things. So Hamlin and Jedi, they have both Miami and Tampa available. So those guys, I think it's almost forced. They have to take Miami now and then and then save Tampa. I, that's too strong, I think. Um, I mean, the, well, I mean, we can even backtrack. The mistake was putting themselves in this position to begin with. There's no reason really to even hold my – I mean, I guess it worked out if you have them for 17. Right. So I'm saying. I mean, really, they really just have to. But, but again, the Chargers. Well, the Chargers are going to be pretty chalky. I, 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 I like. My thought is. Well, that's a lot the thing. Of the Chargers. Not take, wait, they will on. not take the Chargers on Christmas because they're going to want to save them for 17. So I like the Chargers for Christmas because most people will save them for 17, and then the Chargers will be too chalky in 17. For Tampa, I, I'd probably just take it. Um, cause there's a lot of other choices. You can go Jacksonville. You can go, I mean, everyone has Jacksonville. Everybody has Detroit. Right. Um, you can even take, you know, the giants or Atlanta. Yeah, but Tampa there's... could be kind of the nuts in 17. Um, no, 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 certainly, certainly. But depending on how it breaks down, I mean, these chargers people are going to, the first step that I would take is if I'm taking Tampa on, um, If I'm taking Tampa on Christmas, I would take a different pick. I would I'd, I'd try to not take the same pick as them on the main slate because the main slate's first. So so, let's talk about, so let me see what the main slate looks like. So the main slate, I mean, I presume that again you just take whoever you have. I mean, like, well, this goes back to that idea we talked about that week where it was like you know Buffalo like Buffalo, Philly, Dallas or something. And, and, and a lot of people took Atlanta and then I dropped to what, like the Colts and, and, and Jacksonville. Um, that was many weeks ago well, because I wanted to separate myself from the Atlanta group to have a well, stronger entry. Well, now, well but Mike, like, check this out though. I'm going to, it's going down the favorites here. So yeah. KC is completely burned. Buffalo yeah. is completely burned. Tampa, but they're not on the main slate. San Francisco is gone. completely burned. Baltimore gone. is completely burned. Dallas I'm is presuming gone. Presuming Dallas is completely burned, right? Yeah, Dallas is completely burned. The Chargers aren't on that slate. Minnesota has two people that's, that could take. That's the best pick. Yeah, that's the best pick. That, that's you have to take that. Oh, all have. these people that were saving Tennessee. They. Oh my God, this is going to be Armageddon. There we go. All these people that were saving Tennessee are gonna now. What are they gonna do? Well, there's a lot. There, there, I mean, there's a lot of choice. There really are a lot of choices. Cincinnati's, um, Cincinnati's. Ooh, two people have Cincinnati left. There's mm. a lot of teams though that you can separate from. I mean, th there's a lot of teams that are the same favorite. Um, yeah. You got Detroit, the Jets, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Denver. Detroit and 17 is probably going to be a hundred percent on, right? Yeah. I mean, see, that's, that's the issue in this pool. All that matters. I mean, you're playing for so much money, but there's going to be multiple groups. I mean, like a lot of people are not going to take um, the chargers. I would have to like, do a visual of this entire thing. Like, I know. That's the thing. We're not used to seeing this grid. Because we can't – you, you can't read this without mapping. And right. my, my, my thought is there's going to be a lot more pick em games. And, well, there's two different thoughts. The people that want the biggest favorite the next week so they do not take the charges on Christmas. But then there's going to be people that realize, wait a minute, there's a ton of choices. I can just take – I can just take Detroit or Jacksonville, and everybody has those teams available. I mean, really, right? No one's taken either of them, probably. Yeah, no one's taken either Jacksonville or Detroit. So I would not take the Chargers on Christmas because if people are doing a two-game map, 
starting at Christmas, going into week 17, they're going to see, oh, I don't need the Chargers. I have a six and a half point favorite and a five point favorite. I'm going to take the Chargers here. And of those 12 Chargers, they're not all going to take them because there's the group that has, some of them will have uh, Miami and some of them will also have Tampa Bay. And some, like you said, have both. So I would, I would assume that you cannot take the Chargers on Christmas because it's going to be, it'll, it'll probably be, it, assuming everyone goes through like seven people, the 14 might take the Chargers. And that's just not, he, uh, he, that's, he just can't do that. I'm going to tell you what, this is what Howard Hamlin's going to do. So Howard Hamlin's going to take Tennessee anyway. And he is going to maintain his Cincinnati for his million dollars. Oh, a hundred percent that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and he has no other options. So he's going to take Tennessee. Well, he could take Pittsburgh. Well, he could take Pittsburgh or Denver. I mean, there's he there's a lot could, of choices. But I mean, that, that's that's a decent size. That's a decent size drop, isn't it? No, I mean, I just I I I would drop just in case people are sorting because if they're sorting, if they're going to take a three point well, favorite anyway, that, like you said, I still think people yeah could still take Tennessee in his face. Uh, and they're just they're just going to do it because they're slightly more favored and and and. and I mean, I just felt so sick when I saw someone took Washington because that means I couldn't I, – there was nothing good that could happen um, once I woke up that morning. All, all, the best case scenario is they both won and we had seven people left still, and I, and I lost any advantage that I could have made. And you're not, al- you're not always going to see it through, but to have no chance is, is, is pretty depressing. Um, I mean, just look, look at how – look how popular Washington was last week. Washington was like a five-point favorite. New Orleans was a four-and-a-half. Um, Carolina was a two and a half or a three. Zero people took Carolina in circa zero, but half the people took Washington, and that's I think that's that's, that's very telling for the way people are going to lean in, the, in in these situations. If they have a a nice standalone outlier pick that either fell into their lap, like you know Green like Green Bay, only four people in circa had them last week. Obviously, they all took them. Um, or if you were saving somebody, you're going to do that. But otherwise, you're probably just going to take best available. And, you know, just so you can't regret, you know, squandering even those, you know, two percentage points. Mm-hmm. Um, but you you you, you want to avoid the group. The it, it will not apply this year. But last year, the the Thursday game was first, and then there were two Christmas games. And I followed this particular week because I thought it was very interesting. I, I thought the best pick was gonna, was for sure Indianapolis. They were a, like a four or five point underdog. One person took them. And I don't know, 12 or 14 people took Tennessee. Well, Tennessee lost. Yeah. And, you know, there, there are like 12 people left. And then there are two games on Christmas. Nobody took an underdog. The underdog won the first game, knocked some people out, and went to the last game. There are like seven people on Green Bay and if Cleveland had won and they they got robbed at the end by the refs too on a pretty bad no call the guy would have won six million dollars and because he put himself in in this incredible spot um it's not fun taking it well th- this week you don't have to take an underdog no one should be taking Arizona you didn't have to, you didn't uh, have to do that you didn't have to do this the whole season pretty much I'm sorry you didn't have to do this in circle the whole season. You know, usually there's spots on like Thanksgiving and all this stuff where you're supposed to take underdogs. I don't think you had to yet. No, no, it was, it was, it was almost complete. It was pretty much completely out of the question. I, I did ask somebody if they thought someone would, I, I actually thought someone might not knowing how weak someone's entry was, but the spreads were just because it was so obvious. No one else would do it. I thought, I, I don't know what the math was, but I thought it was reasonable, but uh, it just doesn't feel good. Um, there's a, there's a lot, there's a, the important thing is to look exactly what your opponents have next week's pretty easy. Everybody has Detroit, everybody has Jacksonville and a bunch of people have the chargers. So and there's, and there's going to be, uh, there's going to be one person I'm telling you that's got Tampa because the guy, oh, yes, 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 yes. The guy that's got but, Tampa in Miami this week is going to be smart. He's going to take Miami. Well, I'm, I'm just talking in general for right. a pool and right. you know, I'm going to pick – this is how we're thinking for next week. We only have two teams, but if uh, if the Chargers people get through, I'm gonna, we're going to assume they take them at current spreads. We're taking Detroit. Yep. If the Chargers people get knocked out, 
we're going to take Jacksonville and hope everyone else takes Detroit because they'll be more favored right. Right. than the other. And that, and that's, that's just, it has nothing to do with who I think is going to win. I'll tell you what, I want Detroit to win. Um, you know, very exciting story, but I'm not going to pick them if, if, if I think I should take Jacksonville. Um, there, there, we got, we got way too far to play it safe at this point. Uh, we tried to make a deal. It was rejected twice. So okay. we have no choice but just to go for it and give ourselves the absolute best chance to win hey, it. This is this is this is the the Scotty Fishman theory. He, he told me like when I first started playing poker, it's like the uh, whoever 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 turns down a decent deal is the first guy busting the next the next round. <laughs> that's uh, uh, yeah yeah that's uh, that, that's pretty interesting. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Um, all right, so uh, good luck, everybody. Uh, again, props for the couple of guys are really after it in the discord. There's a, co- there, there a couple of guys that are really deep and stuff. I don't want to just go over their stuff, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, but um, go to the discord. If you want to talk about that stuff, uh, congrats to the guys that took down Brandon's pool. Congrats to the guy that took down Gorge's pool. Um, good luck to the guys in Circa and, uh, and much bad luck. Go, go Vikings. And much bad luck to everybody in, in, in Brave Jayhawks pool. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, we'll see you next week. Good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you.